kwanza huku isa tena karudi ikazunguka kakata hivi ndio nikasikia nyama ya hapa kama ikitembea inanipiga huku ongeza furaha ndani ya roho yangu yes when you see Maureen Otieno Omolo walking you will quickly notice her mesmerizing beauty but when you get straight into her face you will notice something different her face is covered in anguish of scars ever since she was 9 years old Maureen had been living a tragic life accumulating numerous scars on her heart in the process by the age of 15 she thought her time to heal was coming only to extend her scars to her face after barely surviving a staggering plot that was meant to end her life why did her face turn into the theater of machete slaughtering and how did her loyal husband become a villain overnight this is her mysterious story The first time we visited Maureen, she was dying slowly after going through heavy domestic violence. We published her tragic story and people on the Afromax community contributed through givinglife.com. Today, we visited her again to provide the donations to her and to catch up with her life. Long time. Long time. Finally. We are here. Sansana. Sasa leo wiki tumekuja yes. tumekuja na ujumbe kutoka kwa Giving Life. Yes. Kwa hapa pole pole, pole waangalie ni nini ni kwa hapa ndani. Tujaye mkutafuta. Wow. Yes. Asanteni sana. Mm. Asanteni. Mm. Sasa ni baada. Pingo wa bariki. Mwambie wale, waambie wale wanakuona. Wenye wali donate na washukuru sana. Naomba Mungu aendelee kuwafungulia milango za baraka. Nimeshukuru kabisa na masista zangu na mandugu zangu. Mungu aendelee kuwabariki. Mmeni ongeza furaha ndani ya roho yangu. Yes, yeah. Born as the first child in the family of four, Maureen knew that she would learn to be responsible earlier on in her life. But after losing her parents at 9 years old, she decided to get married at 15 years old, thinking it would end her misery. She married a man who pretended to have her interest in his heart, and the couple had four children of which one of them died. As the financial capabilities receded, Maureen, who wasn't able to work, asked her husband for a permission to go to the city to make some money. The jealous husband narrowly agreed, but quickly married another woman as Maureen was away. When Maureen came back, she was surprised by her husband's behavior and decided to go back to the city and never come back again. But as she was planning to go, her husband threatened to kill her children, and Maureen decided to stay to save her children. But this home had no peace, and Maureen would learn it the hard way when her husband and his second wife plotted to kill her. Sasa nilikuja nikarealize akikata mara ya pili. Inside, alikata kwanza huku isa tena karudi ikazunguka kakata hivi ndio nikasikia nyama ya hapa kama ikitembea inanipiga huku nikamuuliza hey Jose umenikata akanyamaza kumuuliza hey baba umenikata ati wewe nitulielewana na wewe usipokubali kukaa na kuua unazikwa na mimi nafungwa siwezi kubali mke wangu achuku, achukuliwe na mtu na mimi bado niko hai ni nini atuweze tengeneza ndio nikambebea hii mkono basi tunatengeneza akaniambia mali imefika hapa hakuna kitu tutatengeneza hapa sasa kuna kitu tutatengeneza mwisho ni kaburi mo 
Maureen barely survived, but not without heavy scars. Thinking that she had died, her husband reported himself to the security authorities. But Maureen recovered from the hospital after heavy surgeries. But one of her eyes got badly injured and almost unable to function again. His fingers were also trimmed off, leaving her struggling to do her manual jobs, which used to be her source of income. With these injuries and scars, Maureen has decided to never talk to her ex-husband again. Husband nae, kitambo ndi alikuwa na nisumbua lakini saa hii aliachana kunisumbua. Kusumbua tena? Mm-mm. So, uko na peace? Kabisa. Mesha kwa yani, eh? so munaongea na ye ama? Aa, mm-hmm. atuongei na ye, mm-hmm. yes. Uli usha block? Kumblock kwa simu? Mm-hmm. Sijam block, mm-hmm. eh, sijam block. Kwa nini? niliambiwa ni sim block mm. juu kuna kuna vitu zi, kuna kitambo ndiye alikuwa ananiandikia nga message ya kuni threaten mm. sasa hiyo message ndiyo niliambiwa akiniandikia kuni threaten nipeleke mbele atafutwe tena mm. yes sasa so, sio so, hiyo um, block a a si jam block lakini sasa yake kuandikia sasa na file sim reply mm. na soma tunaachana nayo mm. hadi sasa hii alichoka Yes. Today, Maureen is only focused on her children. She is willing to provide them with an opportunity to get advanced education, an opportunity she didn't get when she was young. When we visited her for the first time, she had a small business which she used to get some money. The business collapsed later as she used most of its money to treat her eyes which was injured by the ex-husband. She uses different equipment to cover for her damaged eye. Mm. Mm. Eh. Sindio, si iko tu sawa nikishaweka. Oh, iko sawa oh. kabisa. Ni ile kitu ni haioni. <laughs> sasa inakaa kwa macho. Yeah. Oh my yeah. goodness. Today, Maureen is struggling to feed her children. She works in a hotel as a maid. A job which is difficult given her condition. Sasa sahi naenda kibarua. Yes, siwezi kosa ya kukula na watoto kila siku. Wow. Yes. Siwezi kosa chakula. Siwezi kosa chakula. Unapiga kibarua gani sasa hivi? Mm, nafanya kwa hotel. Mm-hmm. Yes. Nafanya kwa hotel exactly. Exactly. Siwezi siwezi pika. Mm-hmm. Kazi yangu ni kuosha vyombo. Mm-hmm. Yes. The amount of money Maureen earns is too little to fully satisfy her needs. Her children need school fees, what she needs to pay rent, medical bills and other expenses. She depends on her family and neighbors who help her with money and other resources. Ta Afri Maximea story yangu nimepata baraka hata nimepata dadangu from Australia. Aliniambia my sister nimejitolea kukusaidia. Ye yeah, alinunulia ali TV akaniuliza unaweza naweza kurudisha shule? Nikamwambia unaweza nirudisha course. Aliniambia nitafute course yenye naweza fanya. Nilishatafuta nikamtumia kila kitu. TV nilinunua how much? TV nilinunua 12500. Alikuwa ametumia kitu kanga ngapi? Alinitumia 33000. Tu acha kizongoni. Nikaenda nikalipia mtoto shule. Eh juu huyo mkubwa nilikuwa nimeshamlipia shule. Haya huyo wa pili nilimlipia shule, tu wanalipa 27000. Kuna zingine nilikuwa nimejikakamwa nikalipa, kalipa nyumba. Sasa wa pili tena nikapata dada yangu ni kama mama yangu jua ananitanga my daughter alinitumia pesa nikanunua pikipiki what 
Uko na boda? Yes. Baba. Ori, ori. God is good, ori. God is good, God is good, God is good. <laughs> Nilifikiria tu Kenya inaweza leta pesa, nikaona hiyo boda inaweza niletea pesa. Kila siku hata nikilemea upande wa chakula mm-hmm. inaweza nisaidia. So, uko na boda boda kwa barabara? Yes. Sahi. Tena iko na dream mm-hmm. nyingine. Mm-hmm. Tena Mungu najua atafungua njia. Mm. Naenda kuchukua tuktuk. Tuktuk ya loan. Uh-huh. 70,000. Nishaenda nikauliza uh-huh. 70,000 per day wanalipa 1,000 1,000. Niko na imani Mungu atatenda mema. But Maureen is still dreaming to improve her life. Currently, she's living on rent and yet her income is not enough. She would like to start a business but lacks money and she doesn't have collateral to get a loan. If she gets some money, she would resume her business. Thank you for watching. I'm Elijah and this is Afrimax English. Remember to subscribe.